This is Sophie and together we are Mondays and the topic of the week will be positive outlook and coping mechanisms and ways to deal with unwanted feelings and the question of the week world where would it be? So I'm going to answer the question first because it will just take like a really short amount of time. Um, I think I would live probably in the states right now because I mean I've lived in Germany or I've lived in Europe for like nearly all my life and then I spent a year in Canada which was also really nice but now I feel like I've kind of already explored that country so I'm kind of um, really drawn towards the states because I don't even know why I just love it there so if I would have the choice right now I would definitely go there and so this week's topic on positive coping strategies and whatnot so first of all I have to say I'm not an expert on this <laughs> at all but I'm trying, so I'll just share, I guess, the things that I've kind of figured out for myself. And so number one is neither cutting nor binging nor purging nor starving is a really good way to deal with anything because it doesn't help it, it just makes it worse and like you might feel relief for about the next five minutes or so, but on the long term it's just going to get you like really into trouble and so that is never 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 a good way to do it and so there's also no you know if it just kind of cut a little bit you know that's like better than I don't know starving instead or no not really none of that really uh, counts or whatever it might be in your case that helps you to do with unwanted feeling feel like but harms you in any way and the first thing I think you should do against that is always try to figure out where this negative feeling comes from because it's really essential that you understand your feelings and it's like I figured out for myself that I have to really take time like if I feel sad or if I feel the urge to do any of those things then I have to sit down and think okay like what is this actually causing and what is actually causing causing this sorry and really sit down and think about it and try to feel that feeling and understand it and know where it comes from because that's what's going to help you to cope with it basically so if I feel pressured and that's one of the really common things I feel I feel like I'm not good enough and I'm not I should like strive towards higher things and more achievement and I should try to do more and help more and be a better person because I'm not good enough that's one of the really typical things then I have to sit down and realize and think about that I actually am good enough and that none of those things is going to give me any more worth or any less because you like every person's value just by themselves like there's nothing that you can dress like that you can wear or nothing that you can do to make yourself worth and more it just then you're trying to basically make yourself feel better but you're not really helping yourself and then at the end you feel really empty and you don't know why because you can make a list of things that you did that are that were awesome but it, you don't really feel loved so for me definitely like sitting down and realizing that I am good enough and I am worth a lot and that I am being loved and wanted in this world is really essential and then whatever it is that the problem might be that was just an example trying to think of ways to solve it and sometimes realize that you can't like that's also you're not responsible for every single thing in this world if a friend of yours is having a problem it's their problem and you're not being mean by saying that you can't really do anything because most of the time you are not the expert and you are not the person who is the one to help them and also if you watch somebody else being harmed you are not harming them so there's not really you can stand by that person but only just to the point where it doesn't affect you if you make yourself responsible for things that are not your responsibility you will break basically like you'll you'll fall apart because you just you take too much of a burden to deal with for yourself so 
think about ways that you could solve the problem and if there is something that you could do tell yourself you'll do it write it down think about it just do it really calmly and don't panic and if there's not realize that it's not your responsibility give that responsibility to somebody else talk to someone or whatever and so once you've realized whether there's something you can do about it that's maybe the most important things that comes first actually don't panic like I know for myself that all those coping strategies always always happen out of basically panic like I'm just scared that if I don't do it something might happen even if it doesn't make a lot of sense but I'm just so like so upset or so sometimes close to manic or so I feel so guilty it's just this overwhelming feeling that I feel so and it has to come out somehow and so realizing that whatever it is it's okay and it won't do anything as long as you don't let it like you are in control of that feeling it's not the other way around like realizing that it's not as overwhelming as it might, as it might seem is really important and once you don't panic really sit down and just breathe and think about that you are still in control like i find that really important especially if you have bulimia or ethnos or some type of thing like that especially when it comes to like binging in my case i feel like i <laughs> my control is being taken from me by that urge to binge like it's literally it's, i feel like it's tearing me downstairs and just pulling me like pulling me downstairs and tearing me apart that's what i wanted to say and I can't do anything about it and that's wrong you are totally in control of your actions and don't let this disorder take it away from you don't never do that because it's your body and you have the right to decide what happens to it and with it and it's the same with your mind it's your mind and you can decide what happens to it with it and you are in full control so realizing that you can think about other things that you could do instead so especially if it's feeling many many feelings it just helps to talk to someone so don't be alone go to someone call a friend go to your parents if you still w live with them because my mom told me explicitly if i ever feel the urge to cut for example i should go to her and tell her and she will care about me we'll just do something but don't be alone and if you can find a person that you trust that you could ca call if or that would come if you are in a precarious situation so if there's like a special person of trust you you can call or text or whatever it will be much easier because the person knows about it and you don't need to do anything maybe you can have like a code word or something and it sounds stupid but it makes it so much easier like the less complicated it is to access that person in any way the, the better also of course your therapist if you have one would be a person to talk to and then what you can do by yourself i find is things like for example sleep always helps if i feel absolutely horrible and disgusting and fat and but not sleep because it just keeps you from doing anything and you can just like calm down because also being upset is really really exhausting so if you can just sleep sometimes that makes things better no kidding and then take a shower have a bath do your nails i don't know do your hair go shopping if you like to do that just do something go out go into a park if you have a pet grab your pet do something with a pet. like we have a cat and obviously if i'm if i'm stroking the cat i always realize like you can't treat the cat that good and you can harm yourself like with the other hand that doesn't work that way so it kind of gives you a really good reflection make music if you play an instrument listen to music if that helps to calm you down cry scream yell whatever it is read a book read somebody else's story do homework if it helps you and many people say do sports i for myself find that not to be super helpful 
because I know I, I forget, I'm not a really sporty person so for me the only time I ever do sports is when I'm in an anorexic phase that's why it, when I do intense men so all the trails that you could like jog on around my house are trails I always jog when I was like not in a really good state so it just it would be triggering so much and so for me sports is not something I should do so it's also find it out find out for yourself what works and what doesn't because it's different for every person and so maybe things that help you might be really harmful or triggering to another person and the other way around so the best thing I can tell you is kind of just like really set up a network of things and like realize sit down and calm down for a minute don't panic whatever comes up and then just try to have a routine have a life that kind of keeps you from doing your negative behaviors don't isolate yourself have friends have people to talk to have a network have a number of things maybe have a certain place in your room where you keep things that keep you from binging purging cutting whatever it is so that you can really access them easily because if there is a sudden situation coming up that you really need those things you don't want to look for them or whatever because otherwise you're just going to end up basically doing your <laughs> engaging in the disorder of behavior and on the other hand keep the stuff that triggers you as far away from you as possible and not even anywhere close if possible so if there is a certain room that triggers you to eat or not to eat don't go in it or try to avoid it i would say if it's your bedroom change the decoration change the colors change the blanket change whatever if it's people don't talk talk to those people sometimes you have to be really well not harsh but you have to put your recovery first in order for it to succeed i guess so yeah and always remember that you have to be compassionate with yourself just as you are with everybody else and you can't it won't always work of course you'll relapse and relapse but that's just part of recovery and so just be understanding and understand yourself and try to understand yourself and your own feelings and emotions as much as you try to understand everybody else's and treat yourself just as you would treat everybody else and put yourself first in a way so yeah that's what I wanted to say and see you next week. Bye bye.